Cashless Society are again today, and I wanted to direct your attention to this article from uh, Shift Gold. So this is Peter Schiff's website where you can come here and buy gold. And, um, you know, I decided it was interesting that he shared this about um, the media and a cashless society and so on. So let's take a look. So article title, Media Discourages Cash Use While Simultaneously Calling Cashless Society a Conspiracy Theory. Says, make no mistake, governments love the idea of eliminating cash for a more sinister reason. It would make possible for them to track every single purchase you make, and it would also allow them to exercise a tremendous amount of control over individuals. Of course, making that kind of argument will quickly get you labeled a conspiracy theorist. In fact, the media recently went after critics of the war on cash for being just that. Couple important things to know. So it says it was just last year that Bank of America CEO Brian Moynihan said we want a cashless society. Big banks and financial institutions would reap obvious benefits beyond the saving on the cost of transacting in coins and paper as well as transporting them. They would have that much more data to collect in bulk on their customers. So Schiff basically just wants to point out to you, I guess, with this article that, uh, you know, the media is saying we're not going to a cashless society and they're saying it's a conspiracy uh, while simultaneously you've heard major CEOs of someone such as Bank of America say that they want it to happen. So what do you think is going to happen? Uh, important thing to note there, once again, Bank of America does have obvious ties with Ripple and XRP. So the main thing that... Uh, this whole article made me think of is just, you know, searching to see what other people are talking about out there with this cashless society and everything. So I ended up meeting this guy, um, Digital Time Zone on Twitter. And uh, he had this really long thread about the cover of The Economist. So I wanted to bring this to everyone's attention because it is a fact. This stuff is, has been happening forever. So Anyway, let's take a look. So the first cover in 1988 had a, an image like this. A couple obvious things here. It says, get ready for world currency. Uh, didn't give us much detail to play off of other than that you got this big like phoenix with, uh, you know, money on fire underneath. Um, the few details we were given was that it said 2018. It also has this logo here in the center, which I'm going to talk about a little later on. Uh, maybe you've seen that before. Uh, I immediately recognized it as being something obvious that we see in crypto. But anyway, <clears throat> so get ready for a world currency, foreshadowing how we're moving to a world currency all the way back to 1988. They also had the year 2018 on there, which is, um, you know, really close to where we're at now. So this could all be unfolding just as planned. But taking a look at the other covers with him. So in 1999, the end of privacy is, I mean, obviously all the way back to 1999, um, the computer wasn't, or sorry, internet and cell phones weren't built out like they are now. Um, but they were working on it, weren't they? Yeah, so they were trying at the time to get these computers and cell phones probably into everyone's pockets. Interesting enough, the pupil here is square shaped. And also the the eye looks like it has like a matrix type theme to it. So obviously the idea is we're moving into technology, everything like that. You know, you got the square for like a vision, maybe a television or cell phone, whatever, computers. Anyway, I'm not an expert in symbolism, but it is a fact that the elites in general have been using symbolism in um, mainstream TV, uh, you know, media, television, magazine covers, obviously, and, you know, anything and everything they communicate with the public on. So, the next one. This one here says, the state is looking after you, the rise of soft paternalism. Uh, once again, you got that all-seeing eye, um, just like the last one. And for those of you that don't know, I'm not going to dive deep down the conspiracy rabbit hole with you guys, but 
um, you know, this is a symbol for the Illuminati, the all-seeing eye. Uh, also, the pyramid is an Illuminati symbol as well. Interesting enough, uh, this all-seeing eye and pyramid is on our, on the dollar in the United States. Um, take with it what you want there. Um, also, I think in, in Latin on the dollar, it says, it basically says New World Order. <laughs> So yeah, that's that's strange to say the least. But <clears throat> that was what nineteen ninety nine, or sorry, that one was two thousand six. And all right, so two thousand seven. Once again, talking about the end of the cash era, and they got coins in the shape of dinosaurs. Uh, you got a pterodactyl colored in like a dollar bill. Um, so they've been telling you, telling us since nineteen eighty eight early 2000s that cash is coming to an end they've just been putting it right out there in public um this magazine too uh, just to point out there it's 40 percent owned by the rothschild family so all right next uh world in 2015 this one is super detailed with symbolism uh you'd have to find somebody who's an expert in breaking this stuff down and watch a video on it if you're interested in more detail to see uh, what this all looks like but you got putin there on the front hillary clinton obama uh, president of china a lot of really interesting stuff here so uh, but yeah a little mushroom cloud in the back weird stuff uh and this one the world in 2017 i think these are called what like tarot cards or something like that they're for like um fortune reading i think or i don't know magic i don't know this stuff uh, once again, there is a video I found on this one that's like 50 minutes long, breaking down in detail what each one of these cards might mean. Um, the one that I thought was interesting is this card down here um, on the bottom left, the Magician. Uh, it's got a guy with a VR set over his head. He obviously can't see. And then uh, an infinity sign above him and a 3D printer. So, you know, suggesting like technology and then, but the 3D printer, it looks like it's printing out little houses. Who knows what that means? Oh, just really weird stuff, right? That wouldn't be on a cover that's supposed to just be about like the economy around the world and stuff. Like, why is it got to be all symbolic? I don't know, whatever. Um, but this one too, World in 2017. Sorry, World in 2019. A lot of interesting details here as well um you know a couple ones that stuck out to me uh the guy once again is wearing like a virtual reality headset um, but in his left both left hands <laughs> one he has a cell phone that has a qr code on it we all know that eventually the way you're going to be paying stuff with crypto is going to be with a qr code so you're going to walk in probably scan the code and uh, you know, just hit pay or something. It'll be something along those lines. And then in the other hand, he has what looks to be a scale that's currently unbalanced. I mean, maybe that could be suggesting something like level playing field. Who knows? Um, you'd have to get some money that breaks it. I think there's an article breaking this one down. But anyway, yeah, if you're really interested in this stuff, um, you know, see what you can find. Couple more. Uh, this one is just just came out a couple months ago. The next catastrophe and how to survive it. Uh, they got people sitting here with these masks that are more like during the war time frame instead of what we see people wearing here on a daily basis. Once again, you got that mushroom cloud. It's referenced in like almost all of these uh, covers. You got this comet coming close to the Earth. And supposedly that's supposed to happen uh, close to the election time. There's a comment cl coming close to the earth. Who knows what will happen with that. Anyway, last one. So for this one, they didn't try to hide things as much or use symbolism. They just put the words out there. Uh, there's a couple hidden things in here, obviously, with the 2020 being red and green, as well as the vision down here being in red as well so 2020 vision um you know whatever but anyway digging through the words you got trump brexit tokyo mars cl 
climate, recession, uh, bond, Beethoven, vision. And then, so there's a couple more here on the bottom, bottom but uh, the ones that stuck out to me that people have obviously been speculating on in the crypto community is they do have an obvious BTC right here. Um, kind of like a crossword puzzle. And then over here on the left, next to BTC, you have an XRP. Um, what's interesting though, is they obviously could have put this where it connected, but it looks to me like more like the X and R are closer together and the P is spaced out. So some people speculate XRP stands for exchange rate peg. And then you have the peg distant, distanced. So it could be like the exchange rate is distanced from the peg. I don't know. I, see, I'm not an expert in this stuff, but at the same time, you have to, um, I don't know. I just find interest in it, bare minimum. But more crypto related stuff. So you have a little tiny ETH down here in the corner in the middle of Beethoven. And then far right, you have SBI in order. So almost all of these, Means something, Trump, Brexit, AI right in the middle of all that. Um, Tokyo, Mars. So why do you have SBI, who is a massive owner in XRP and you know a big part of the crypto world as a whole? Um, they're right down here on the right. So take with it what you want, as I always say. But um, bare minimum, this stuff is, is kind of interesting to state, say the least. And why in the world has this economist magazine who's 40 percent owned by the rothschilds and foreshadowing since 1988 that we're moving to a cashless society that's going to be looking after you um that you'll have no privacy <laughs> uh weird stuff so i don't know if you take interest in that if not you know that's okay just some i wanted to make something different obviously since the the title of my channel is cashless society i think this all really coincides with that lastly i did mention wanted to take a look at this logo um and see what it reminds me of first and foremost it reminds me of the stellar logo all right so stellar rebranded or changed their logo back in march of 2019 um, but that logo is almost identical to what you see on the cover of this economist is it not um, so i don't know you tell me <laughs> kind of weird right and then so the last thing it reminds me of is this cosmos logo as well the o in cosmos has to have a slash through it um you know and it looks just like the logo on the currency on the phoenix so bare minimum interesting stuff to me um you know maybe it is for you as well if so there's plenty of information out there for you to dig into this a little more in detail uh, but as i've said there's a lot of symbolism in uh, mainstream television uh, magazines like news media disney coca-cola they all do it um, if you look into it you can find a lot of information on it so yep as always Please like and subscribe, share with your friends and family, and stay tuned for the next one. What is a cashless society? What does it actually mean in a literal or high level sense? Money will become like these, relics of a different age. And will only be found in places like this. In other words, hard cash will disappear. It will become electronic, transferred by things like these. Then Tracy is in Beijing to show us what a nearly cashless society actually looks like. Ben, good morning. Mobile payment transactions in China reached a cumulative total of 277.4 trillion RMB in 2018, ranking number one in the world, according to the recently released statistical report on internet development in China. As of June 2019, online payment users in the country reached 633 million. The cashless society is now approaching. When's the last time you paid with cash? Well, chances are cash has taken a backseat to the plastic in your wallet and smartphone pay apps. Denver 7's Ryan Luby explains the digital pay revolution and why not everyone is on board. The cashless society, the cashless society, the cashless society. The cashless society is now approaching. The cashless society.